Okay, y'all, so you saw in one of my other reels that I went to Sephora and picked up a couple of lipsticks. So I have been waiting because I wanted to try them on for the first time with y'all. So that is what we're going to do today. Okay, so right now I have prepped my lips. I have done a lip scrub and just put on some lip gloss. So let's get rid of that. Okay, so I'm going to try these on from lightest shade to darkest. So the first one that we are going to try, this is just a Sephora brand and the packaging is super, super cute. Uh, this is from, um, I guess it's just called Pop Stories, I believe, and it's in Sink or Swim, and this is in the color 67. So, let's try this one. Okay, so this is what this looks like. This may be way too light for me, but this is what that looks like. I don't know if it's really picking up, but it does have a little bit of shimmer to it, which seems super, super fun. So let's try this on. Okay. Lots of glitter, which is always good. Okay, so this is what this looks like. So, I don't know if I would wear this by itself a lot. This would seem really, really nice over top of another lipstick. But, yeah, it's really, really pretty. Definitely Barbie, which is good. So, this is just like a very shimmery, shimmery pink, like an iridescent shimmery pink. So, yeah, that is that one. I may wear it alone or maybe I could put like a gloss on top of it, which might be nice. It might um, show up a little bit more and a little bit glossier, but yeah, that is that one. Okay, so the next color we are going to try, this is the Lady Bold from Too Faced and this is in the color You Do You. So I wanted to try... Um, another color besides pink i have like so many pink lipsticks but i just wanted to try something different this packaging is absolutely gorgeous this is what it looks like and then on the back of it it looks like this so uh, this is how the lipstick looks if i could get it to focus it just has um Too Faced stamped on the front and it's in the shape of a heart. This is absolutely beautiful. And this container actually has a decent amount of weight to it. So we are going to try this on. This is really pretty. I really like this. And y'all, this has a scent to it. I smelled it immediately. I'm trying to see what the scent is. It's like a, I don't know, it's something really, really sweet. But this smells, it kind of smells like Starburst. Um, this smells so good, but I love this color. It's not quite red, but it's not like a very intense orange um i feel like it goes pretty good with my skin tone i think it's really really pretty and it glides on so easily it feels really really good on my lips it doesn't feel drying or anything like that so yeah that is this one okay so the next lip color we are going to be trying on this is the huda beauty this is a liquid matte and i've actually never tried any makeup from her before so i'm super excited um this is in the color trophy wife so this is what it looks like so let's try this on 
I hear very good things about this. My friend um, always buys this lip color and it wasn't very expensive for this tube. It was only like $20. So let's go and try this on. Okay, I really, really like this color. I wasn't really sure about it, but it looks really, really nice. And it dries down really, really pretty. It doesn't lose its intensity as some lipsticks that I've tried have. It's like once I put it on and it's a liquid matte, once it dries down, it's not, it kind of looks ashy a little bit, but this does it. It has its um, still same color vibrancy. So I really, really like that. It doesn't feel like really drying to my lips or anything like that. So that's good. So definitely we'll be trying a couple more uh, shades in this line. Um, she also has a couple of eyeshadow palettes that I want to try out too. So I will definitely let y'all know when I try those. Okay, so... I love that. It's not really transferable, which I love. I'm always in the hunt to find makeup that does not come off <laughs> when I touch my face or touch other things. So yes, I will definitely be buying more of those. Okay, so the final lip color we are trying out, this is the Urban Decay. Um, it's in the color Holly Weird, and this is a cream lipstick. It looks like that. So y'all know that I wear a lot of pink lipstick, but I have been needing more for, like, for the longest. And a lot of the times um, y'all ask me, especially on my Instagram, what lip color that I have. Honestly, y'all, I end up mixing a lot of the colors because I just have a little bit of this color and a little bit of that color. So I wanted to get like one lip color that I absolutely love and that is really, really bright. So I was in uh, the store and I saw this on the sample and I decided to give it a try. I don't think I've ever had Urban Decay lipstick before. Not that I can remember. I could be wrong, but as far as I remember, I don't remember having Urban Decay lipstick. So, um, yeah, this is the packaging of what it looks like. Really nice. Oh, that was upside down. So, this is what that looks like. It looks pretty vibrant. Um, I absolutely love the fact that this is a cream, so it will keep my lips from drying out. And it just has the little Urban Decay logo on there. So yeah, that is what that looks like. So uh, let's give this a try. Okay, this is definitely a cream. Hmm. It is okay. It's definitely not, mm, it's definitely not as vibrant, I guess, as I would have liked for it to be. I will say compared to um, the Too Faced, I guess that is more of what I was looking for. Very, very intense uh, color. This, I feel, it's very much a cream. It is. So that could be my fault for like thinking about something else. I'm not sure. But I mean, it still is a pretty color, but it's definitely more sheer than I would have liked but it still is a pretty color uh would I purchase this again not sure I'll kind of give y'all an update a little bit later as I wear it for a little bit and um let y'all know but mm, yeah I'm not really sure yeah I'm not really sure how I feel about this I was really really hoping that this would be a really deep, intense, like a fuchsia or a hot pink. But yeah, not really what I'm looking for. I'm not really sure if I would purchase this again. Um, this could be for someone, but 
right now my first impressions are telling me no <laughs> but yeah I will you know like I said I'll walk around with it kind of see how I like it um like I said it's definitely a cream it's just a little bit more sheer than I would like so anyway yeah that is it y'all I just wanted to kind of test these lip colors out with y'all and uh show you all the new colors that I bought I'm definitely on the hunt to find a few other um really deep uh pigmented lip color someone was telling me about a really hot pink from Maybelline so I will uh probably pick that up at some point and test it out with y'all but anyway thank you for watching this video see you in the next one bye